off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hey, okay, we're getting ready for your first jamboree, right? Yeah. We just got our high pony done her coaches have the bows. They came in late. So they're going to hand them all out at the school. Right? Yeah. We're just tired, huh? You look cute, though. Having a good time? The old hat, getting back into this kind of cheer? Yeah. Yeah. We will be fine. <laughs> Where did you convince me to come? Sure, With all of her friends. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness sakes, I'm so tired and so hungry. I had very minimal for breakfast because I'm, I haven't really explained this, but I, my medication has run out and the pharmacies have run out of it, both in all the pharmacies in the entire Seattle area and their warehouse. It's my injections. And so I've run out of that for a week. And so I no longer have like this, I have a an appetite again, thinking of food way more often this week. And so I have to remember not to like eat in the mornings. And so I just had a drink today um, just to like hydrate myself because I knew it was gonna be super hot out. It's 82, which when you're just sitting in the sun, it feels really, really hot, which it was. But at the same time, it's been a hard week because I have gained weight again. Um, I had lost seven pounds. I haven't said this, but I have lost seven pounds since my surgery. Um, and it was kind of depressing because it was all starting to come back as soon as I didn't have this medication. Um, but the pharmacy just called me today. Um, well, they found a pharmacy from a hospital over in Spokane, Washington, clear on the other side of the state that has it for me and they're mailing it to me on Monday. So I have to be very careful with what I'm eating and thinking about what I'm eating and like, I've snacked twice at like di like nighttime TV time, like watching The Bachelor. I've had a bag of popcorn and like twice. I was like, why am I doing this? And I just realized it's because I'm not having that appetite curbed. So that to say, I am very hungry right now. It's one o'clock and I'm just getting done with Ashley's cheer stuff. We actually were done an hour ago, but um, as you saw, Ashley and all of her friends convinced us moms to take them to Starbucks. <laughs> and she got a little Asahi frozen lemonade, something or other, for $6. Just a waste of money. Um, but I am starving because, like I said, I just don't have the same, like, you don't need to eat. It's okay. And now I have hunger pains for the first time in, like, six to eight months. So I'm going to run home and get something to eat. But then Ashley is not here with me. She's <laughs> convinced the other mom to go and have a play date at their house for the rest of the day. She is not with me. Chelsea is at home and will likely be on dog duty the rest of the day. Very late last night, my friend um, Daisy's owner um, texted me. She's like, is there any way you can do Daisy daycare this weekend? She wants to go see her kid, her daughter and her grandkids before they start school. And so she's going to go out of town. So J Chelsea will do da Daisy daycare today and then Ashley will have to do it tomorrow so that they can get equal pay since Ashley will be gone most of today. So <sighs> that is the deal. Now I need to like figure out how to get home. So hungry. This Dairy Queen right here. Oh, that's very tempting. Their fries are very good. I need 
to like find my way home. Okay, so, ignore my hair. I can't get put into ponytail still. Um, but I'm still editing videos and I need to like stay motivated here. Except, I know I said I wasn't gonna do it again, but I did it again. And there's a lot here. <laughs> And I want to open it, but I'm going to tell myself I have to finish editing this last video. Today's up to today, up to right now. And then, gosh, that's heavy. And then we're going to open this. The big bag. <laughs> All right. Well, that was way easier than I thought because I hadn't filmed very much today. <laughs> so I already did it. So part of me um, doesn't remember exactly what was in this order. Um, and I'm seeing the first thing on, well, two things I'm seeing right here. So I'm not going to put these in any order. It's going to be completely random. The first thing is a little boring, but I just saw this. It is a, um, like a veggie tray, but with a lid on it. And I have, I've wanted to do this for a long time, but I just wanted something that would fit in the fridge better and not like break the bank trying to get it. But like I said, it'll fit in the fridge. So what I'm going to do, I guess it, it, maybe it sits inside it. Yeah. So I'm going to fill this with veggies, carrots, cucumbers, peppers, not fruit because I do my blueberries in a separate container, but I'm going to have that filled not only for myself, all sliced, diced, cut up, ready to go. And then it has a lid so it'll stay fresher in the fridge for longer. But then after the kids, when the kids get home from school, they can pull it out and I can have it on the counter when they get home. And they nibble on things if it's in front of them, but they just won't like cut it up themselves. So I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm gonna put ranch in here, but I might make my um, cottage cheese ranch dip. Maybe I'll do that today and take that for game night if we have game night tonight. But I will put a separate container with a dip in here. Um, but then it'll be good for me. Like if I'm gonna sit down to edit, I could literally just bring this whole tray and just sit and eat vegetables with my protein dip. Um, it'll be way better. So I got that. And then the next thing is, should I save this till the very end? I think I'm gonna save this till the very end. Cause that one's funny. That one's funny. Um, I'm gonna save that one to the end. Let me open the bags, because one thing I hate with unboxing videos, it's kind of driving me crazy feeling the plastic. Let me take everything out of the bags and that will make it go faster. All right, we have quite the pile. Quite the amount of stuff they fill into these things. Okay, so I've got mostly clothes. Um, we'll do that here in a sec, um, but I'll show you the other non-clothes things. So two of these things I told Chelsea to buy herself, so she'll have to pay me back. And I'm going to tell her to come and get it here any second. Um, she has so many art supplies that I'm now when she's buying buying some like specialty stuff, I'm going to have her start to do that because she does have money. Um, so this is like a little art kit, um, and they're they're acrylic paints, I think, but they're very I don't know. It, Chelsea says that they're a thicker paint, um, and I'm curious to see if these ones will hold up. Once they, once this little foil is removed, if just this little lid is going, that's not the lid. If this is really going to keep them from drying out. So anyway, she's going to pay me back for that because it was kind of specialty paints outside of just regular stuff. Um, but that wasn't too bad. And then the other thing is a, that Chelsea is going to pay me back for is this little messenger bag. Um, like when she goes to like activities or um, even like school. I think she might actually take this to school with her along with her backpack because she takes her art supplies with her to school. She's kind of cute. So I think she might actually take this and with um, her little pencil pouch and her notebook with her to school and just carry it over her shoulder because she always carries her pencil pouch in her hand. Um, for school so I, she might even double up so but she but she, since I already paid for a backpack I told her to do this and it came with I thought this was actually denim you know so Chelsea her stuff is here it has little pins that go on it as well oh, so cute. yeah it's just like a cute little messenger bag Kaylee's here 
Um, but I thought she could put like her um, art stuff in oh, it yeah. when she goes back. She always, has Kaylee it. knows, she always has her art stuff with her, but it doesn't fit in her backpack. Yeah. She carries it with her and so she does it on the bus, even though her bus ride is like literally five minutes. <laughs> um, you want to say hi? No. I'm too tall. For you are too tall. You're taller than me. Good day at work or just a day at work? Just a day at work. Just a day at work. Welcome to the world. Um, also for Chelsea is these pimple patch thingies. They're so cheap on this website, but they the box gets destroyed. <laughs> um, and then she also asked for some lip gloss. Um, Kaylee, will you tell her to come down here? No. She doesn't know that this came today. Um, she got a little light lip gloss, I think. Just a little something extra outside of just regular chapstick. You know what I mean? So let's see. Just a cute little lip gloss. So that's kind of fun for her. And then I got a necklace. I'll open that here in a minute. I, I don't wear necklaces because I get kind of claustrophobic and I have an allergy to metals. But now that this isn't in the way so much, I thought it'd be nice to have a little necklace dangling down. And then I picked up some washi tape in these fun like metallic colors. Can you see how they are like that iridescent colors? That would be kind of fun for my little, um, what do you call it? This plastic stuff is driving my fingers crazy. If you can't tell I'm a very, maybe I have a, I don't know, OCD or something, but I have a very big texture issue. Um, and then I got these um, tray liners for our air fryer because we've been using like tin foil but sometimes um, you need something a little bit different. So just these little, it's almost like the coffee filter material. Um, so you can put that in the air fryer um, to use to keep it clean. Someone's here for Kaylee, I think. All right, Kaylee and her friends just got here. So I had to like pause and say hi to them. Okay, we're down to clothes, correct? So I got Ashley, some of these little halter tank tops. Um, I believe I got brown and white. But I think the white one's at the bottom here. Um, I also got her some little shorts. I think that is way too big. I think that's going to be way too big. It's hard on that website, like, because it says it's girls. But it's hard to know the sizing. I don't know. They're so cheap, though, that I'll just save it. And then I, I like the, my hands maybe just are dry. I don't know, fabrics on the Timu and, like, Shein. Hang on one second. I'm on the soup bag. And it keeps rustling. I got the textures on and fabrics on these websites are a little bit different. Um, but I got one of those little jumpers. Those little like pant jumper sets. So I'm going to try this one on here in a second. Because um, it will look cute underneath. Like or over the top of this shirt here. But I also got a white shirt to go underneath it. And just like in general. This is pretty see through. I'm like, literally can see my hand through it, so I would definitely need to wear it underneath something. And this fabric, it would, this fabric is like sports. I don't even know. So I guess it would look good because it would lay flat underneath the jumper. And I got another jumper too, I'll show you here in a second. Um, so this one is for Chelsea. She wanted just a cute little tank to go underneath like, she likes to wear like button up flannel shirts or sweatshirts, zip ups. So just a little, but she gets hot. So she likes to have something underneath. I don't know about this dress. I'm, I might be returning some stuff. The dress, the material isn't like bad necessarily. I just wonder if it feels cheap and if it'll look cheap. And I also worry that it's gonna be too big. I don't know. See, I, I, I told you yesterday, I'm second guessing my size. The bottom is what I really liked on this one. It's like kind of that peasanty, bohemian look to it. So we'll try those two on along with this one. The fa this is not the fabric I thought this one was going to be. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle the fabric. I really like this style. Definitely need to wash it first too. But it has like, it's a jumper. But then you put your thing through the hole and then you knot it so that it like does a little cute little thing like that. I love the color for fall. Look how cute that would look. Maybe I just need to put lotion on my hands. 
but I also need to see how it feels on my body because that may like drive me me crazy but I don't know I haven't done the whole jumper thing because my my chest is always too big and it would just dominate the jumper <laughs> where it wouldn't even fit inside it but how cute would that be I even thought about like getting like a little denim jacket or something to like wear over things when I'm trying to like have it be an outfit and not just see that looks huge so I don't know we're gonna try those and then I also got so here oh I got black instead of white she's kind of Ashley is kind of obsessed with black these days so I'm trying to like <laughs> they got the brown one I'm like you kind of need to wear color as well okay so this last thing goes with Jason learning the whole cheer the whole Barbie themed halftime performance that Ashley um, has started to learn <laughs> and he wants to wear this on the day that he dances with her during her halftime performance I don't know when that's gonna be and maybe he only does it like at practice like shows up at practice and does it on the sidelines while they're doing the dance at practice but let me show you what I got for him it's really for all of us all of us can wear it because it'll fit all of me Kaylee Abby and Jason okay so it's bright pink it's a hoodie it's large so that it fits all of us I am enough <laughs> you have to see the Barbie movie to understand I'm gonna go show Kaylee and see what she thinks just picked up Ashley from her friend's house and yes you just made something happen what did you just make happen so I found a receipt on the side of the road mm -hmm. and I did it and it was only worth 25 points but it made me do the tap to play yeah and how many points did I get a thousand twenty-five well I got a thousand from the tap to play yeah so yes she did allow me to earn those points you seem tired yeah she's been going non-stop since Maybe. 9 a.m. Yeah. yeah shower yeah. has something to eat yeah. you saw a panda I don't know I mean Kaylee ate all of mine no they're still two little yeah, but boxes I still have some rice Okay, I am so tired. What have you tried? But if I go, if I go climb into bed like I want to, I will, it's 7.30. If I climb into bed now, I'll be awake at 9.30 and then I, like, I'll never go back to sleep. So I got and I just watched the Seahawk game. It was this morning, so it was recorded and I watched so, it tonight. did we? No, we didn't win. Seriously? It was intercepted right when we were about to score a touchdown to win the game. And Jacob was was upstairs mocking me the whole game. How are they doing? How are they doing? Because he already knew the score. But the Vikings haven't won a single pregame, so sorry. Sorry, all those of you in Minnesota. At least the Seahawks have won all their other games. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, Come on, Arab. Yeah, let's go home. Because you were cold this morning. Yeah. Easy.